What's good, peoples? Welcome to uh, my first sneaker unboxing. I'm going to be doing a lot of sneaker unboxings on this channel. That's like one of the main, if not the main thing I'm going to try and do. Other than the vlog, which you saw, obviously. I want to say yesterday. I'm filming this the next day that, I'm, that I posted it. But God knows how long it's going to take me to edit and actually do this. Some lazy fuck. But, I mean, it's all based upon what you guys like. It's supposed to be a sneaker channel. But I have a very interesting life, obviously. I'm a great person. So there's going to be some vlogs. There's going to be some people that are going to be like, Oh, I don't want to watch the vlogs because I don't like you. <laughs> that's fine. You know, that's fine. And there's going to be some people that are like, oh, I don't want to watch sneaker unboxings. I don't really give a shit about sneakers. That's also fine. Makes me feel a little bit better, actually, because, you know. And there's going to be people who watch both. Like three or four. Like Rob. Leif. My sister. A, because I'm, they have to. And B, because, you know, they just like watching me. I'm a good, good guy. Great personality. <laughs> Large cock. Um, so here we go. This is the... You don't know. This is a pickup from Goat, I believe. I didn't mean to purchase this shoe. It was a bid I had on in, I had in on it, and it got accepted when I really didn't have the funds to buy it. I was left with about less than I paid for the shoes in my bank account. So it was a very unfortunate situation. My friends say I have a little bit of an addiction to shoes. My friends are right. Um, this shoe is, is a grail for me. It is. It's used. It is a used shoe. I buy primarily used shoes simply because I don't have the money for real ones. Not, not, not real. Simply because I don't have the money to buy DS ones. Because I'm going to wear them anyway. So the big price difference between DS and worn once is, is ridiculous to not buy a worn once pair. Or worn once. You guys know that means worn three or four times. Um, because I'm going to wear them anyway and the quality really isn't much different. Obviously, I look at pictures heavily before I purchase them to make sure I'm getting a shoe that is up to my standards. I'm not going to get a beater. That's ridiculous. I wouldn't do that. And I keep my shoes really, really clean. And I'm very specific with how I keep my shoes because I do spend a lot of money on them. And I care a lot about them, obviously. That's why I buy so many pairs. There, I will be dropping a collection vid once I get 1,000 subs. 1,000 subs. I'm probably at four right now. So that's only 996 to go. Um, if you guys like this content, please leave a like right now before I unbox these. Give me a sub. Road to 1K. I might get featured on Scoop. You never know. I love you, Scoop. I love you. Anyway, um, let's get into this. This is a ruler. I can't find scissors. It's got like a little uh, metal part. Like a serrated edge. Come on. Like I was saying, these shoes are a grail for me. Um, when I, before I really started buying shoes, but I was into shoes heavy still, like just liking, looking at them and shit. These and Toro 4s were my absolute favorite shoe. And when I was younger, I would say about three, f three, four years ago, I really wanted Toro 4s or this shoe. And I kept looking online, and I wasn't really heavy into shoe culture, just into, like, I was a noob. So I was like, you know what, I'll just get this. It's like, a, it was a fake pair. It's like 60 bucks. Why not? My mom said she would buy one of them for me. They were both, I think, like 60 or 70 bucks. She said, all right, I'll buy one for you. Because at that point, really, I wasn't spending more than 60 bucks on a pair of shoes. I couldn't. I didn't have the money. Neither did my mom, really. So, I have the money now. This is terrible. I don't have the money now. Let's put that. I do not have any money right now. All my money is, is, is in this shoe. Anyway. Um, so, I ended up getting a pair of Toro 4s, a fake pair. Let me get those for you, actually. So, I can show you. Come on, you motherfucker. These, these toasty, 
toasty babies. As you can tell, I uh, I never respected them because they were uh, so obviously fake. That that got ripped off by my dog. This one, she has it, and it's ah, still bit. But yeah, I I beat these to shreds. These are beaters. But a couple months ago, that's when I knew I made it. I actually finally was able to purchase the Toro 4, a real pair. Uh, and it's, this is it's a little crease there. Um, this is one of the coolest moments of my life, honestly. When I finally got to buy this shoe and I opened it up, it was like, holy crap. Like, I wanted this shoe for so long. So much so that I went and bought a fake pair. So... That's just to give you an idea of what what these shoes mean to me. Because this was the shoe I was getting other than this. And these two are probably gonna be tied in my collection once I open once I open this up. So I'm pretty I'm pretty hype right now actually. Alrighty. What could it be? What could it be? Is it a Jordan? No. Is it LeBron? No. If we package this so tight. This is like Leafs. Come on. What is it? What is it? Orange box, sneakerheads. What does that mean? What does that mean, sneakerheads? That's right. See the logo right there. It is a KD. A KD, baby. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah. Let me get you a picture of the size tag just so you can see it. Okay, hopefully. Let's see. There. Um, it is size 11. Hoop purple, urgent orange. That is the colorway. Should just be multicolor. Because this is the. Oh, baby. Baby. Yeah. Little coat card. I have like a million of these because I can't stop buying shoes. God damn. God damn, god damn. It is the KD6. What the KD? Here we have it, boys and girls. God damn. This is crazy. We need some tissue paper in here, man. I'm gonna put some tissue paper in here, flatten this out again. Damn. Let me take these out for y'all. I'm gonna get you. Alrighty. I wanna give you guys a better view of these. Okay. So. We have the stars and stripes going into a green pattern over there, a little tiger pattern. We have the swoosh, which is a distressed swoosh. More of the liger print down here. This is from the Maryland Blue, Maryland Blue Crabs over here. It's a dope, real dope swoosh. You have some texture here. I know you can tell. It's nice. 4K video. Laces are blue and green, going up with a green tongue. The insole has the diamonds, the triangles, I'm sorry. And then the sock liner is that red checkerboard pattern. Bottoms are blue, as you can see, they are worn. Not fronting at all. See this indent right here? I don't know why the fuck it's like that. 
I think that can just be fixed with me putting some socks in there. And I don't know why he doesn't have any. There's nothing inside of it to keep the shape of the shoe, which is fucking weird. Overall, it's, it's not in bad condition. It's pretty, pretty clean. I'm actually going to wash these. And again, do, do the tissue, tissue paper in there. Same, same shit on this side. Same shit on this side, you can tell. Um, over here, we have the KD in red and orange. We do have a speckled uh, speckled midsole on both shoes. And keep in mind, this outsole is blue, and this one is going to be green. The right shoe is green. The left shoe is blue for the outsole. Little KD logo, KD Christmas. Um, I forget what shoe that's from. But you have that pattern going around. It's the exact pattern. A peanut butter and jelly swoosh. Which is really, really dope. Going around toe box. That pattern continues with that shoe that I don't remember underneath. Um, I can't remember. Is this from the Maryland Blue Crabs as well? I'm not sure. Uh, again, speckled midsole. This has, I believe, I believe it's, yeah, blue, teal, and yellow on the midsole here. On this midsole. On the left, it is a little hyper lime green. Looks like almost a gold. And then like the same as the outsole, that kind of blue. Laces, you have yellow, blue, and purple. Going around the shoe. There you go. The insole. Come on, where's the lighting? The insole is that checkerboard. It seems very similar to the sock liner of the left shoe. And then the sock liner on this one is that nice blue pattern. I'm just trying to get a lighting there for you. There you go, you can see that. You have the KD6 logo on both tongues. Well, actually you don't. You have it on this tongue. On this tongue, what logo is that? I'm not even sure. Interesting. Okay. I'm not heavy into KDs. I'm very knowledgeable on Jordans. That's basically my expertise. This is my first KD I've ever owned. So if I'm not knowing everything there is to know, that would be why. And I really didn't do any research on this shoe. Although I really should have if I like it that much. But it was more just about looks. I mean, this is a crazy shoe. And you'll notice with my style that my style is really loud. Really crazy. Hopefully you see that in the collection vid when I reach 1,000 subs. But yeah, man, these these are these are crazy. These are a shoe. I'm really just happy to have them. This is the Aunt Pearl, of course, if I didn't say that. The flowers in the back there. I don't really know what this is. This is the Liger. Liger, Aunt Pearl, Maryland Blue Crabs. I don't know what the green's from. I should. But... No, these, these shoes are crazy. I know, I, I'm. it's coming up on camera too, this little weird dent. It's like such a weird... I've never even seen that. But I guess I haven't had a shoe with this material. This is like a... It's like a plasticky... I don't even know how to describe it. But that it's, that's just shape. And you, you fill this with some tissue or, or some socks like I do with some of my shoes. For some shoe trees. I mean, I've have, I've have a bunch of shoe tissue and and socks and all of my shoes because I keep my shoes clean. Give these a, a little cleaning and maybe I'll give you guys an update vid if I can if I can get this stuff out. But I don't see a reason why I wouldn't be able to. Right now on feet, I got the Beater Kobe's because I'm about to go and play some wiffle ball with Lafey. Yes, I know I'm 19 years old. Um, it's gonna be a fun time. I'm gonna beat his ass. But yeah, this is just a short little vid. Hopefully you guys see the shoe. The lighting's okay. And you've seen everything, every detail you wanted to see. And this is an old shoe, and there's plenty of reviews out for it. But this is just sentimental to me, really. I'm just really happy I was finally able to pick these up. This is crazy. Um, but yeah, that's it as far as the shoe. I do have... A little surprise if you guys want on feats by the way uh, leave that in the in the comments 
I'm not going to do an on feet for this shoe right now, simply because I'm leaving pretty soon. But if you guys do want on feet in the future, let me know. Yes, these that was holding my phone before. Hashtag sneakerhead. Um, let me know, because I'd be more than happy to do that for you, because I do wear all my shoes. Wear your kicks, motherfuckers. Anyway, we do have a special little extra unboxing for you. Oh, I'm going to put my phone back down. I said a special little extra unboxing for you. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? Where is this from? Hopefully I didn't have my address in here. This is... Yes. This is what did you think it is. It's a poster. Yeah, baby. All right, now what is this poster of, you might ask? Well, I'd fucking tell you if I could open it. It's taped really heavily. Not heavily, because it's like fucking scotch tape. They just, they just did a great job with it, you know? Like, it's really an impressive scotch, ta <laughs> scotch tape job. Ah. Getting somewhere now. Come on, baby. I want to see it. This is a poster of someone I hold very near and dear to my heart. If you guys have watched the first video on this channel, you should know who this is. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Yes. If you heard that correctly, you know who this is. Comment down below right now if you think you know who this is before I rip it. Come on. And this is a picture of his greatest moment of his career, in my opinion. And most people's opinions. And probably his. Actually, I know it's his because when I went to go to his book signing and I bought his book, that's actually the first little part of the book is about the shot. Game six versus the Spurs. Woo, baby. Who but... My man, Ray motherfucking Allen. I'm going to go up there on my wall, right above the uh, the gorilla with the shades and the, and the boat captain's hat. Look at that. This is Ray Allen's classic last, not last shot, but the game six shot. LeBron James missed a three right before this. I don't know if you knew. He fucking sucks ass. And I believe Chris Bosh kicked it out. And Ray Allen right over Tony Parker. Hit the game winning three. That would send Miami to its first championship. And that's fantastic. God, look at him. Look at fucking Ray Allen. You see that right there, folks? That's bald. That's a really dope pickup. I'm really happy about that. There's actually one more pickup. <laughs> While I have you guys here, I might as well get on camera and go to the gorilla. This is probably something I should put in the shoes. It's all teeth, baby. What could it be? Yes, that's a chicken nugget. <laughs> this is my new phone case. That's right. That is a drumstick on a phone case. Yeah, folks, that's my life. Um, so pretty cool pickups today. We got Ray Allen, great poster, game-winning shot, a drumstick on a phone case, and KD6, what the KD. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please, again, leave a like, a sub if you can. It would be fantastic. Really help me out. Again, once I reach 1,000, there will be a collection vid coming. And I do have a lot of dope sneakers. I'm not fronting. So you guys will really enjoy that if you like sneakers. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, this is my gerbil, by the way. Look at him. <laughs> I love gerbils.